Obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is caused by structures in the heart that block the normal flow of blood. These obstructions force the heart to work harder to move blood through the body. A thickened septal wall and a misshapen mitral valve are two common causes of obstruction in people with HCM. Before surgery begins, transesophageal echocardiography, or TEE, is used to get a real-time look at your heart. TEE is a probe that is advanced down the throat and into the esophagus, where it creates an image of the heart. Your surgeon consults with your HCM cardiologist to confirm that the surgery as planned is appropriate based on these images. Once the surgical plan is confirmed, the surgeon makes an incision in the middle of the chest. The breastbone is opened, allowing the surgeon to access the heart. Medication is used to stop the heart from beating during the procedure. A heart-lung bypass machine takes over the work of your heart during the surgery, allowing surgeons to operate safely. With the heart still and accessible, the surgeon begins the septal myectomy procedure. First, the surgeon makes an incision in the aorta, just above the aortic valve. This allows access to the ventricular chamber. A special probe is used to measure the thickness of the septal wall. The surgeon uses this measurement to determine how much tissue to remove. Septal myectomy is the surgical treatment to remove the obstruction. Residual leaflet excision is an additional procedure that is often necessary to fully improve the flow of blood through the heart. In septal myectomy, cardiac surgeons thin the muscle in the walls of the left ventricle, which is the heart's main pumping chamber. Using special surgical tools, they remove the extra tissue that blocks blood flow. Once septal myectomy is complete, the obstruction created by the thickened wall is removed and the thinner chamber wall works better at moving blood through the heart. Some people with HCM also benefit from residual leaflet excision, also called RELAX, to repair the mitral valve. HCM can cause the mitral valve to leak and develop extra tissue, called a residual leaflet, which blocks blood as it tries to flow out of the left ventricle. During RELAX, the surgeon trims or shortens a portion of the mitral valve, this keeps it from hitting against the septal wall and blocking blood flow. It also stops blood from leaking backward through the valve. Once surgery is complete, the doctor makes final measurements to confirm that, even under conditions of stress, such as exercise, blood can flow unobstructed and leakage from the mitral valve has stopped. The heart can now function normally, and patients often experience immediate symptom relief. After a few days in the hospital, patients return home and gradually resume normal activity, including exercise.